Friends, welcome to this brief auto-afflicted interlude. Today, I'm going to show you how to clock your turbo for install and also how to pre-lube the turbo and prime your feed line so that you don't do any damage when you're starting up with your brand new turbo. Let's jump right into it. Right, so what does it mean to clock your turbo? Essentially, that just means we're rotating the different parts of the turbo, the different housings, in relation to the oil feed and drain, because what I want is my oil feed and drain to be straight up and down um, in relationship to the earth, while I want, uh, of course, my, my charger side to be in a certain position to line up with my intercooler piping. Um, there are different retention mechanisms for the housings. This one is a simple bolt scenario. Um, so essentially, you know, you just have to adjust this to whatever your um, retention setup is and remove that and then you can start to clock it. So here I'm just going to loosen all the bolts so that we can get this positioned how I want it. When you break your bolts loose, keep it a little bit snug so you can move things into position, um, but you know, not so loose that they don't stay in position. All right, so I've got my bolts all loosened up. As you can see, um, you can now rotate the individual housings. Let's take it over to the car and I'll show you how I want it positioned. All right, so here into the engine bay, as you can see, manifold is at a little bit of an angle this way. Um, so I'm rotating the cold side here down this way because this is where my intercooler piping is going this way. And then I want my, my oil feed lines here. So this is the oil, this is where the oil is going in, where the oil is exiting. This is going to want to go straight up and down. So right now we are not there at all. <clears throat> so let's see. Ugh. There we go. Now this is moving for me. See, a little bit different relationship here. All right. <clears throat> that's looking pretty vertical. <clears throat> right about there. And that's looking pretty horizontal. Right about there. See, horizontal here. Vertical feed line here. Whereas here's my feed line. See, so this is going to go right on top. Right there. Perfect. All right, so now that we got it clocked, we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. And then we'll just kind of go around and tighten it back up. All right, so the first step before we fire this thing up is we're going to shoot some oil all over the turbo and let it run down on the side of the everything. What the f <laughs> Oh my God. Take two. So the last time I did this was over a year ago and I thought for sure I had the fitting on top when I did it, but Obviously, I was wrong. Uh, so fitting off, now the oil will go in easily and will flow. And we're going to get a squeeze in there, and we're going to spin the propeller to get it to go in. And you're just going to put it in slow as it takes it in. If you try to put it in too fast, it will overflow. We are taking in some oil here. There we go. Starting it up. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is crank the engine and see the oil flow out of the feed line to confirm that we got oil coming here. We've got the coil disconnected so the car is not going to start and we're just going to pump some oil out of here real quick. Cool. 
cool. So thank you to my assistant, Wayne. Now we've got the feed line attached here, as you can see. And we're just gonna snug that up, but that is it, friends. That's how you clock it. You prime the turbo itself, you prime the line, and now we're ready for an official startup. And if you wanna see this car start up, jump into the uh, turbo series for the M103, part three of the M103 engine rebuild is where you're gonna see the actual startup of this guy right here. Thank <laughs> you.